Hey guys, we're going to look at hyperlinks in Microsoft Word. Now, what is a hyperlink or hypertext? Okay, they, they're pretty much the same thing. Where a hyperlink or hypertext is simply something that you can click on and it will take you somewhere or it will do something. Most of the time, it's a link, like a web link. Okay, so you know how you browse the internet and you click on a link to go somewhere? It's the same thing in a Word document. We can put hyperlinks inside a Word document very, very easily. Have a look at this example. First of all, I'll give you a little bit of an explanation here. I'll read it to you. A hyperlink is text, an image, button, or object on a page that you can click on to open something, perform an action, or open a website. Here are some examples. Now, let's have a look at these examples. I've got go and visit google.com here, and you'll see it's blue and underlined. And if I put my mouse over that, you'll notice that in the tooltip that pops up, it's got HTTP, Google.coza, control click to follow the link. So if I hold down my control key, do you notice how the cursor changes? It's from a normal eye beam to the hand. I can actually click and it will then visit that link. It'll open up that link in my web browser. So that's one way where we've got text. That's a sentence that is now a hyperlink. That text that we're looking at, hypertext. All right, the next one is check out my blog. And there you can see I've got a URL that has been typed out and it is an active hypertext. It is active hypertext. It is a, a hyperlink. Man, so oh, this is hyper. I'm getting hyper just talking about it. Oh, that was a terrible joke. Okay. Um, check out my blog and I've typed it out and it's also become a link. Also, here's another one, a picture. And you'll notice that as I move onto the picture, control plus click to follow the link. If I hold down my control key, there's my hand and I can click and follow that link. It'll open up in a web browser. So like, how do we do this now? There's the hard way and there's the easy way. So I'm gonna show you both, okay? I'm gonna go down to the next page. Here they are here, no links whatsoever. Nothing is a link here. So let's start off with the first one where we're gonna make this text. Go and visit google.com here. I'm gonna make that a link. I'm gonna turn that sentence into a hyperlink, hypertext hyperdrive and here we go the hard way or the longer way I can go insert and I go to link 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 links there it is there sorry <laughs> I lost it for a second links and I just click link okay that's all that does so I will see here I can insert a hyperlink well uh, is it going to an existing file or web page a place in the document, a new document, an email address. Well, it's the first one because we're talking about just links that open up web, page, web browsers and stuff. So existing file or web page, I will go here, www.google.co.za or .com, doesn't matter. And click OK. That is now hypertext and I can move my mouse over there. It'll show me the URL that is going to open if I control click on that. Okay, so that was the one way of doing it. The other way to get to the same place, but super, super quick, control K. Control K brings up the insert hyperlink box. And this works in a lot of the other Office applications as well. Control K is the same thing as going to insert links, hyperlink, same thing. Okay, and then you can go ahead, google.co.ca, perfect, click OK. Right, that's the one way. Now we have another way of typing out a web address. So for example, you'll notice that I had a link to one of my uh, websites. So HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. That's pretty mandatory. www.techteachers.co.za. Now you'll notice that there's no blue or underlined text yet. It's not a link yet. I've just finished typing it. And here's a secret. If you just press the space bar now, it becomes a link automatically. Word is very clever like that. If it notices that you've typed in a link, the moment you move on, it converts it into a hyperlink already. If it does not do that, and you're stuck with something like this, and you're like, oh man, what do I do now? Well, just go ahead like we did before, select the text, Control K, type in the link. Or if you're super smart, like a cat student supposed to be, just go to the end of the word and press your space again easy okay the last one is the picture this is like an object uh, on, on a page and because I'm not going to type the whole thing and I'm just I wrote that down there so I could just copy and paste that okay I hope you don't mind copy there we go so let's make this 
a link so that I can click on this picture and it'll open the IMDb webpage on this TV series. So I click over there. What was that shortcut? Control K. If you don't want to use the shortcuts, insert links. There's the link over there. Okay. I just, I love Control K because it's quick and it's easy and I, I don't forget it. Okay. There is the address. I've typed it in there super fast. You didn't even notice. And it is now a link. And that is how we work with hyperlinks in Microsoft Word. Insert, links, link, or control K. Or type it out manually. Don't forget to select first, like I probably should have mentioned that at the start, select the text, then create that uh, into a link. Cool.